Here I am, 50 feet underwater, with a monster spear gun in my hands, taking aim at a 100 pound tuna. And here I am, watching the tuna I just speared, rip the spear gun out of my hands, and pull it into the abyss. In this episode of The Joe Danger Show, I'll explain the tactics I use for spearfishing yellowfin tuna and show you that it really isn't as easy as it may look on social media. All right, we're about to send it. We've got three schools located. Joe, Tuna, Joe, thick. no, focus. Gotta get my fishing license. The day starts with our panga being launched from the beach. Pretty cool way to launch a boat, right? This beautiful day. Una bonita dia. You are? Yeah, beautiful day. Bonita dia. Bonita dia. Dia bonito. Dia bonito. Dia bonito. Yo, yo soy Jose Peligroso. Nah, you're not really dangerous. <laughs> and just as we begin our venture offshore, we stumble upon two humpback whales putting on a serious show. So of course, I sent the drone up and got some sweet footage. But back to the tuna. We continue motoring offshore in hopes of finding a pot of dolphins working large schools of bait. The idea is to find the dolphins because the tuna and the dolphins both feed on the same bait fish. Influencers in the wild, baby! Woo! Our gear consists of a five band spear gun that shoots a spear connected to a hundred feet or so of line, which then connects to a float on the surface. The plan is to jump off the panga ahead of the pot of dolphins, immediately diving as deep as you can, locate a tuna, shoot it, and then swim to the surface to fight the fish, which is now attached to the float line. Sounds pretty easy, right? And just like that, we find a monster pot of dolphins. I'm talking hundreds of them. Dropped 70 foot everywhere. Got horned on what? about a 150 pounder that was deep. <laughs> Distraction, could not focus. Right. It's go time. I do my best to get a good breathe up on the boat, but all of a sudden the captain stops and says, get in the water. I hop off the side of the boat, take a deep breath and make my way down. When tuna diving, you really never know what to expect. On most dives, you'll drop down and not see a single tuna just a bunch of dolphins swimming around. Sometimes I forget I'm even hunting tuna and end up just hanging out with the dolphins. On one dive, I even came across some pretty cool pilot whales. And sometimes you do see tuna, but there's too many of them, they're moving too fast, and you can't get a shot. Other times you see them shoot and miss, and then shoot and miss again, and then shoot and miss again. But every now and then, you pull the trigger and watch as your spear connects with what will certainly be fresh sushi on tonight's dinner menu. Most of the time the tuna aren't huge, but every once in a while a big boy emerges from the depth. This tuna ended up pulling my float underwater and took two additional shots to secure. Here I am on the beach holding this tuna in my handmade sombrero made from palm fronds. Stylish, I know. But back to the clip I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. In this clip I made an okay holding shot on a good size yellow from tuna. Unfortunately, my shooting line wrapped around the bands of my spear gun. So I had two options here. Hold on to the gun and be dragged to the depths on a one-way mission to set a potential new world record free dive. Or let go of the gun, swim to the surface, and hope I can find my spear gun later. I chose the latter option. And sure enough, we ended up finding my spear gun and landing the tuna. Over the course of many full days of tuna diving, I've only put five or so fish in the boat. I've made many hundreds of tuna dives, so you can see my success rate really isn't all that great. But it's the challenge that keeps me coming back for more and the dream of maybe one day taking a 300 pound yellowfin tuna or an even bigger bluefin tuna. But if I'm being honest, what really keeps me coming back for more is the fresh tuna sashimi dipped in a wasabi soy sauce combination. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Until next time.